Uh, my name is Crisis, and before you think it's complete amateur hour, let me welcome my other caster tonight. It is none other than Horizon. Good evening, Horizon. How you doing, Crisis? Yeah, I'm pretty good, pretty good. Uh, feeling good about tonight. Uh, the usual shenanigans with technical jiggery pokery having to go on but i think we are set for the night and we are in for a cracker of a tournament we've got some big up and coming teams and i am excited to be bringing them to the people out there uh so um our first match that we're going to try and organize is supersonic impulse versus almost amazing and these are two fantastic teams aren't they horizon they really are we have Stoney on the side of Supersonic Impulse, who was Sequential's filler for quite some weeks, got his act together, got his own team. Almost amazing. It took third, I believe, in the, one of the other big ones recently, the last couple of weeks. So they're absolutely killer. Caramel Bob, Ozzy Osbert, and Candid Cyanide. Top players as well. This absolute stunners. This bracket has grown so much. There are before, there was probably two good teams. Now, they're pushing five and six and seven every week. It just grows and grows and grows. So exciting for OCE. Yeah, it's been great to be uh, you know, with, the, with the scene right from the start. Uh, the, Rocket League, um, uh, the Rocket League crowd is just amazing. And it's just exciting to be involved with it and to see the scene growing. Uh, definitely helped last week by having Cronovia and friends uh, pay a visit to us. No such luck this week. No foreign devils interfering with our tournaments and uh, messing up the matchups, the seedings, that sort of thing. So Horizon, hopefully we're going to see a bunch of even matches. And in fact, that's why we are going to be broadcasting Supersonic Impulse first up because they had the bad fortune of going up against titanium dank shock which was the pickup team that Cronovi and friends put together uh they went a supersonic impulse went up against them in the first round and got knocked out and uh, big ups to them because Cronovi in the interview afterwards said hey they actually thought they were going to rock up and just dominate but the first team that they went up against they realized oh my god there is actually a game on here and they really had to pull their fingers out uh to get a victory and get it through to the next round so big ups to supersonic impulse and we are expecting great things a quick shout out to everybody in the uh in the twitch chat we've got a bunch of viewers give us some feedback around how the uh, sound levels are going and just let us know whether somebody's too loud somebody too soft music's too loud music's too soft all of that sort of thing and uh, we'll give you a shout out in return because we're good like that aren't we horizon yeah we're, we're pretty chill guys Come on, Twitch chat. No, no uh, shenanigans tonight, eh? This uh, nice and lovely input. Let's get this this stream killing it, eh? <laughs> input. So the server is still not available, and I just hope that that is because the server is not available, and not because the teams have started and used some weird method of communicating with each other. Uh, just a reminder: if you do take play, take part in tournaments, there are a couple of things that you can do that will help us do a, uh, a slick broadcast. So there's nothing that we can do about shoutcasters stumbling over their words or anything like that. But there's some technical things that you can help us with. So the first thing is, for the server name and password that you create, always create it with the match ID that CyberGamer has allocated to your match. So that's secret. Nobody else but the people in the match know it. And of course, the casters are able to see it. So set the match ID and password, uh, sorry, set the server ID and password both to exactly the same thing, that six-digit match um, ID that's issued by CyberGamer. The second thing is, whoever is higher in the bracket uh, in the matchup needs to always go on to the... Oh, is it the blue side? Which side did we decide? <laughs> News to me, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I'm getting, I'm getting all confused. Hang on, let me just see uh, what, it, what it was meant to be. Uh, you need to go on the blue side, okay? So if you're the top bracketed team, make sure that you go onto the blue side and stay on the blue side throughout the match. So whether it's a best of three, best of five, or best of seven, make sure you stay on the same side. 
It just means that we don't have to swap overlays around uh, in between games because we don't actually have much of a, a changeover between games. There's a whole lot of buttons that need to get pushed, and I'm getting old, man. Horizon, I I can't push buttons <laughs> as fast as I used to be able to. Neither, neither can I, to be honest. Like I, uh, I used to have a game so much and just work so hard every day for for to play well. And now I feel a bit uh a bit decrepit, to be honest. Hey, um, I am up. in a match currently that we can jump in on. It's the jam match. No, no, no. We've got a message from Caramel Bob, who is the captain of Almost Amazing. And they have set oh, the match fantastic. ID and password as required. And uh, we are into the server. So let's just uh, switch over there and see how things look. Supersonic Impulse. Hopefully we'll turn, uh, we'll go blue. No, Almost Amazing are going to go blue is the message. So let me just switch these around. With my amazing technology. <laughs> I get the easy job, Twitch chat, I get to sit here, I get to talk, while Crisis does everything. That's the life. There you go. I think we're all sorted. We're ready. So it's the best of three Horizon for the first rounds? Yeah, best of three. I think up to the final and the third and fourth place playoff. I believe that can go to a best of five. I need to clarify with that. Uh, yeah, the grand final is best of five. So semi-finals are also best of three, but the grand final is best of five. Of course, the, the reason that we have to talk about these sorts of things is because every tournament kind of it evolves in a different way. And we know that the pro leagues are going to have a slightly different format. So, for example, the pro league grand finals are going to be best of seven. So there's, there's going to be a ton of Rocket League that's going to get played. But tonight we'll be sticking with the standard big one format, which is best of threes all the way through right until the grand final. And the grand final is going to be a best of five. Of course, Horizon... You would know that after the matches have been recorded, we upload them to our YouTube channel. Yeah, you can go over to Gamester TV on Twitch and rewatch anything you might miss here. Uh, on YouTube. Uh, on YouTube, I said that, didn't I? No, you said Twitch. Ah, uh, mate, I'm out of the game here. Oh, hello. No, I, I think retire. we've got game on. I think we've got game on. And we, we do sure indeed. Do. So, oh, straight away, there's going to be a goal. No, it's saved by Stoney with the halo. And uh, the ball over into the blue zone and a very quick turnaround. B Bears straight away scores off the breakaway. Come on, guys. Let's give us a bit of warning. Just get straight in there. Eager. Too keen, these guys. Too keen. <laughs> That's just fantastic. I'm loving it. It took nine seconds to score a goal. Yeah. Well, look, it's, I like good, fast, high-paced, high-scoring games. I think the uh, Twitch chat probably does as well. Uh, for sure, that is exactly what we are here for. B Bears, the goal scorer, picks up the ball in the midfield and carries it forward. Pressure on the blue zone. So we're going to be trying a little bit of a stylistic change tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We're not going to be yelling about everything that happens because we believe that you have eyes and you are able to see what's going on in the field. So we'll just talk about what's happening uh, in a kind of an overview -y sort of way, get some analysis going. Horizon, the chief analyst, uh, and he's going to be there. B-Bears once again with that save as the blue team, which is almost amazing, are almost amazing and almost get a goal in. Yeah, well, you know, we believe that our Twitch guys, they're smart. They know what they're about. They know what Rocket League's about. We're just going to tell them they're a little finer, you know, more in-depth sort of plays and techniques. We, we want to give you the best stream possible. We want to give you good quality casting. And we want to see what you guys prefer. If you guys prefer us to yell and scream, we will yell and scream for you. If you guys want us to chill, have a nice chat, and watch these guys pull off some silly aerials, let us know. Some sick moves, as they say. Yeah, some sick moves yeah. to some sick beats. <laughs> we don't have any sick beats, although very clever thing about the spectator mode, you know that in between games, it starts playing music. If you've got your music volume on, it'll actually play music in between. It's great. They, they thought about us. They, they really said... We can back up these casters. We'll give them a hand. Yeah, we love you long time, Psyonix. What a game they've yeah. produced. 
So two minutes yeah. 47 on the clock and still just that one goal that was scored in the first nine minutes really took almost amazing by surprise, I think, more than anything else. And uh, since then, it's been action across the field, but nothing in the goal. And I might be proven wrong, just as I say, nothing in the goal. Dumbo comes through and picks up what is actually a relatively easy goal, I think. Oh, no. <laughs> Goodness me. Oh, they cancelled out. He was in the air and he got the angle. Uh, from the air, so nice little move there. 2-0 in favour of Supersonic Impulse. Yeah, Supersonic Impulse being the uh, love child of Stoney. Got it together a team. He's been looking for a thing here. He's looking for a third for a while. And now he's got a killer team and doing well. Taking amazing on. Big time. So just trying to get myself in a nice overview -y sort of position here uh, for getting the like the long shots because i have seen i, I watched the uh uh the rocket royale was it the other day uh that was a kind of a tournament that was happening in the states and they spent a lot of time in the overview sort of way i know that here in australia we like to see the shenanigans that the players themselves pull off from their perspective but sometimes it's nice to switch over to the ball view and get an overview of what's going on on the field that said Lots of action in the midfield again with the pressure remaining more or less on the blue zone from the boys of a Supersonic uh, Impulse. Yeah, Supersonic are playing really well, offensively and offensively. Stoney's sitting back a bit, waiting for Blue to counter-attack. Blue are playing extremely aggressive, like very aggressive. And that could go either way for them, really. And this game is not quite in their favour. But next game, they might be killing it. Uh, well, maybe if they warm up. They should have warmed up beforehand, though, really. One minute to go, <laughs> <laughs> and it's 2-0 in favour of the newcomers to the scene and the ones that got their butts visited by the uh, by Cronovian friends last week in the first round. They're doing a great job in their own first round. Of course, this is technically their second round because both of these teams got a bye in the first round. So. Yeah, straight through. Um, they managed to take a game off Cronovi's team, which people like consider Cronovi as the holy grail of Rocket League. They took a game off him. An Australian team took a game off him. That is an amazing feat. Take a game off Cronovi and to do it on home turf. To defend the Aussies. Cronovi thought, yeah, we might have an easy game over here in OCE. Get some cash monies. No. Nah. We OCE. We blokes. We're tired with our money. We want that shit. I tell you what, if we have a look at these two teams, man of the hour has got to be B Bears. He scored that early goal right at the start, and he has been defending like an absolute champion. The GGs go out. That is game number one to Supersonic Impulse. Yeah, pretty, pretty straightforward. Sort of a bit of a warm-up game for both teams, I think. Can't really say too much off that. B Bears did really well. One goal, one assist, one save, three shots. You know, gonna shoot the win. Um, Aussie Osbert. Haven't seen Aussie Aussie in a while. Caramel Bob. Haven't seen them in a while. So okay, so this is now, <laughs> this is now like their third or fourth name change. This was Aussie Oz, Aussie Bob Fix at one stage, and then a couple of weeks ago they called themselves. Why do we keep changing this? And now this week they're <laughs> almost amazing. So let's hope they stick with that. Oh, I should ready up. You should. You should. <laughs> My excuse is I was changing overlays. Well, the overlays are changed and we're back. Let's hope that they join the correct side. It's always exciting to see whether they'll do that. Blue side is almost amazing. And orange side is a supersonic impulse. And the teams have stuck around in the right things. Let's go into spectate mode and move the ball. Well, oh, oh. how do I how do I even do this? Uh, 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 uh. There's got to be a way of going up. There you go. <laughs> oh, Ozzy Osbourne scores. Let's switch over to him and let's hope that the players keep the replay going this time around. It's off the opening. He hangs back and gets the ball. And I was watching a stream by Gibbs the other day, and he calls that uh, cheap shot. Cheap shot. That is definitely a cheap shot. If I've ever I've seen one. I don't know. I think it's all skill. You know, hanging back and taking your opportunities. You know that the ball's going to get stymied. 
more often than not. A nice little piece of defense there from the blue team. Lots of pressure though. Oh, and Dumbo picks up the reply. It is one all uh, straight off the bat. What is that? 16 seconds of play and we've had two goals. Yeah, Dumbo flapped his ears, got up in there, used his trunk, slapped it home. My homie. Did a great job. So back to the center we go. And the first touch to Stoney. Pressure on the orange zone. This is an opportunity up into the air. And a beautiful aerial from Ozzy Osbert. Almost a cut shot, but he was almost actually in front of, from the posts up into the sky. Oh, it's just beautiful to watch, right? Yeah, a little bit of a bounce shot there. You've just been called out by Twitch chat. I believe they call it a cheat shot, not oh, a cheap oh, shot. Oh, sorry, cheat shot. It's my, it's my old ears, you see. Shout out, shout out to Nugget. Speak We're up, seeing buddy. you, man. We're seeing you. <laughs> hey, shout out to the Twitch chat. Let us know what the levels are like. Are the game sounds the right sound? Uh, are the casters the right sound, the right level? All of that sort of thing. We need to know. Do a capper for us as well. So 2-1 at the moment. Horizon in favor of Almost Amazing. Of a yeah, yeah, really, really fast-paced game. Looking to score really quickly. Like I said, um, last game looked really aggressive, and they really are. Or oh, the nearly cheap goal there to Stony. Stony just dribbles part by the ball, doesn't flick it in. Yeah, that was a nice little move by Ozzy Osbourne. He batted the ball with the back of his car, and then had B Bears drop oh, the okay. game. Yeah, he has. So, yeah, Ozzy Osbourne did a, did a nice little thing there. He bunted the ball with the back of his car, and then he turned around and he actually bumped into the attacker. So the attacking player wasn't able to get into, you know, he overshot the ball. So it wasn't actually a failed dribble. It was really good defensive play by Ozzy Osbourne. Good thinking there. So what is the situation? What's the, the play? Replay at 350 to 1. Yeah, we're dropping out, rejoining. All oh, right, okay. Does that mean I have to leave the server? Yeah, I guess so. Yes. So it's 2-1 in favor of Almost Amazing, ladies and gentlemen. And let me just... Uh, I'm just, just switching over because you never know. Somebody in the Twitch chat might be able to figure out how to join the server by seeing the server details. So we'll just do that. It's not up yet. Well, well, well. So, what was uh, what was the score in the first game? Two nil. Yeah, two nil. Two nil. I don't even remember. Yeah, it's, it was all a blur. Okay, everything. We are professionals. Do you know what we need? Like, there's this amazing invention that is available that uh, will help us to solve this problem. Pen and paper. We need pen and paper on the desk, and we need to be writing down the damn scores. <laughs> I think we need to write down. A lot. I think I should be taking a lot of notes right now. Yeah, th that's your job. My job right, is to push back buttons. in. <laughs> Alright, I'll get my notepad ready. Alright, we're joining the server, ladies and oh, gentlemen. Oh. And we will be back with uh, Almost Amazing versus... Uh, versus Supersonic Impulse. Of course, what we have to have is we've got to have two goals automatically scored. <laughs> and then one in reply... <laughs> <laughs> and get back to the same score, then just sit around and wait, I reckon. Yeah, that's the Have one. a bit of a tea party. Do some aerials. Maybe just do demo each other. You know, all those fun things. Oh, Stoney, on the dribble. Stoney's going hard. Does it. Oh, upside down, he's turtling. Oh, he's my turtling. God. <laughs> oh, <laughs> turtle shot. What up? <laughs> yeah, shout out to Twitch chat, my notepad. Cheers, Grand Illusion. You need to take a selfie with your notepad and then upload it to Twitter and hashtag Bay. <laughs> uh, my girlfriend will get jealous. Then you can just say, it's okay, honey, I can write on you too. I can write many things down. That is, that is important. There you go, we're just following the ball, 4 minutes 40, so we've got to wait until 3.50. We've got to have two points on the board for Almost Amazing, Ozzy Osbourne, FX and Caramel Bob representing. 
Uh, and hopefully they will be happy with that name. Caramel Bob going for some style points there right now, looking to score a goal on... Yeah. All right. First one to do the triple backflip. Gets a prize. So time's running out. They've got to actually score the goal because, remember, it's 3.50 is where we've got to start. And I'll just go um, through the other team. We've got Supersonic Impulse. Is there a... Uh technical term for this to what I'm watching I'm not sure what I'm watching right now they're gonna time it right down to the last second well two seconds away so um, uh, supersonic impulse are stony B bears and Dumbo and they're leading the series by one game to nil it's the best of three so almost amazing set themselves up right now with a 2-1 lead and an opportunity to oh my god <laughs> so we've had Dumbo crash. We are being trolled by an elephant. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Since when can elephants even play Rocket League? Like, I can't play Rocket League. How is an elephant playing Rocket League? Okay, so this is our opportunity to do some shout outs because, like, there's no actual. Get a new microphone. Ultimate life hacker. Who needs to get a new microphone? Is that me? Please say yes, because I want to, but like I don't want to just I haven't been able to justify the cost. But if if I sound bad, then you know what? I might just do it. I might be forced to. I would have to say John Cena. Hey Zilip, shout out to you, shout out to FX Demon, Grand Illusion, Ozzy Osbort, who is uh, looking very sad in the Twitch chat. Shout out to my cat Zabulba, who just got nutted. Yeah, stay true. These are, these are the real important things in life, Rocket League and cats. I, I blame Stony for this. So do I have to leave the server again? Yes, yes we do. It's very complex. There you go, I've left, is. left the server. And we'll just get the title screen back on because, because um, you know people will like, and I don't blame them. I I can remember in the early days of casting enemy territory, accidentally the one time, accidentally putting in on stream the 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 connect string, and some dude freeze framed it right there, and he got the information. And the next thing, that was it for the rest of the game. It was like. Hundreds of people trying to join the server <laughs> 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 to spectate, and and of course no. they're not they they they're not um you know they're not they're not joining to spectate. They've got the server details. They want to play. <laughs> oh uh, no! Uh, we have the bracket advancing, so we need to get <laughs> we need to get these guys on and going. Yeah, like I reckon if there's another stoppage, we need to shift over to another match because we want to cover another newcomer to the oceanic scene, Jam Gaming. Yes, yes we do. I'm very interested for numerous amounts of these team. I want to get up into that jam. I want to find out what sort of jam it is. If it's strawberry, is it, is it apricot? You know, is hey, it delicious? We we saw Jam Gaming do an excellent job at the CS:GO uh, at Respawn Land when GameStar was doing the broadcast for them. If you want to see Jam Gaming in action, ladies and gentlemen, get into the GameStar TV channel on YouTube and check out the Respawn playlist. And you'll actually see uh, Jam Gaming doing their work on the CSGO. I think they actually won the championship. They won all sorts of prizes. It's crazy. Excuse me. Did oh, they win it or did they win it convincingly? Oh no, it was it was a great game. It was a great game. They 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 won it. Uh, they won it. They had to work for it, but you know that's the best kind of game is the ones where you end up working for it. All right, we're on, ladies and gentlemen. Two one in favour of almost amazing. In the second game, we've had the centre that goes off, and hopefully we're going to get three minutes and forty five seconds of uninterrupted play here on Gamestar TV. Yeah, uninterrupted. I'm an adulterated fun, but I just crashed, yeah, so you're on your own, Christ. Oh, that's all right. I'm happy to do that. Oh, an opportunity missed by Caramel Bob. They're only just going wide of the posts, looking to make it 3-1.
those disruptions for the Orange Team Supersonic Impulse might actually be wearing on their ability to concentrate on the game. They'll be wondering, when's it going to happen again? Three minutes and ten seconds into the match between these two teams. It is 1-0 in favour of the boys of Supersonic Impulse in the series, a best of three. So they have three minutes in order to tie up this game and then get some overtime going on, maybe. Oh, he has an opportunity. The ball sits up a little bit, but a caramel bob way too far away to actually get in range. He takes a shot now from the air. Nicely defended, though. B-Bear's doing work once again. And the ball finally cleared out and into the blue zone for the first time in about a minute and a half of play. He has a shot on goals, but it's cleared out by Caramel Bob. Nicely done. I am back. Oh, that's good. Nice to I am you. about it. We haven't had any goals um, scored, so you haven't missed much. Just a bit of... A few shots like that that have gone wide of the post. Bit of dumbling happening. Osberg gets a bit of a chip, a bit of a flick. Doesn't get a good bounce. Bob follows through. Can he clear it? Does clear it. Look at that. Lovely play all round. Pressure swinging from side to side of the field right now. Nothing, uh, no real camping in any zone uh, at the moment. So neither of these teams are going to be struggling for resources. Of course, the big resource is boost. And if you keep the pressure on the zone, on a particular zone, what you do is you eventually wear down the boost. Oh, there's a shot. As I stop the lecturing, B-Bears comes through and says, Listen, mate, we don't want to hear you talking about pressure. We just want to score a goal against the run of play. And they even up the scores horizon. And they have a minute and 41 seconds to push back into the lead. As you're talking about pressure, pressure got to AA there, I think. They just, a little bit of a lapse. Nice, easy goal. Snuck on through. Good pass, actually. The pass, all the credit should go to that pass. That pass was inch perfect for a follow-up. Really hard to defend against. A nice little bounce up against the wall. Nothing AA could do. You to, it had to be an absolute freak. Save that. And now, Supersonic are back on the offensive. Yeah, they've maintained a couple of... Well, what do we call it? I can't say a few seconds of pressure because <laughs> that doesn't sound like much. But they've been here for about half a minute in the blue zone. Uh, there the ball gets cleared out. Ozzy Osbourne uh, just overcooked the ball a, a fraction and wasn't able to get much of a hard touch onto it. No goal scored there. 51 seconds. Time is running out for these two teams to take a definitive lead. But of course, we won't have a drawn game. We'll go into overtime and we'll have a golden goal situation. Once you get enough pressure in a half, if you're in a half, 30 seconds, you're really scrambling to get the ball out. You've only, if, if you get caught out of position, your keeper has to go out for a clearance. The goal's left open. Someone has to come and fill that space. And in that amount of time, Oh, the great team save by Caramel Bobby gets the halo and... Uh, in fact, he gets a savior award, I think, with the amount of saves that he's been putting in. We're watching a lot of a very, very cautious play right now from the boys of uh, Almost Amazing. They just didn't want to give away that third goal. And as the time counts down, the ball goes down onto the ground. If they don't score off this, there you go, into overtime. Man, that was absolutely heart-stopping. And Ozzy Osbord really uh, picked up uh, his uh, soccer boots. Uh, and his goalie gloves and made sure that they forced the overtime. So into overtime in game number two of the series, a best of three reminder, if you'd forgotten. Yeah, this is fantastic. I love overtime. Whenever I play, I often score own goals just so we can go to overtime. I love some good overtime. Oh, great save there. Bit of a flick outside the box. Needed to do it. Otherwise, big trouble for AA. Up along the wall, there's, got a, there's a contest. Dumbo connects with the ball. He gets it, uh, keeps the pressure onto on the blue zone. Falling back. Oh, the, oh the goal's open. Oh, 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 out of nowhere. Ozzy Osborne soaked up all that pressure, turned it around, and scored the goal that needed to be scored. In fact, sorry, it was Caramel Bob who put it away. Nicely done. So that is one all in the series, Horizon. Yeah, one all, and these teams are pretty well matched. In the first one, it was pretty comprehensively. 
in Supersonic's favour. Now, after three games, three attempts, four attempts, we have Amazing come on top and take it in overtime. Bit of a chip. <laughs> Ozzy Osbert is just saying to tell his sister to get off Netflix. That's important, guys. That is a super important detail. Grey's Anatomy so can wait. Where, yes, it can. Where is Ozzy Osbert from? He's not from Tasmania, right? I hope not. Because if he was from Tassie, then, you know... Tasmanians don't have internet. Oh, they don't. So they can't yeah. have Netflix and chill with their sisters. No, they, they can't. Wait, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Bro. Hey, I'm allowed to say that. They're not, Cause I'm they're not New from Cessnock. Because <laughs> I'm in New Zealand and I can insult the Aussies as much as I want. <laughs> hey, you're on an island too, buddy. You guys are possibly going to win the World Cup, I have to say. I hate to say it. I don't think South Africa's going to do it because South Africa's not performing. We might want to clarify to which World Cup we're talking about. The oh, Rugby the, World the Cup. The Rugby World Cup, of course. He's from Melbourne. Oh, mate, he is safe. Not confirmed. Not from Tassie. All right, into so, game number three, ladies and gentlemen. Supersonic Impulse looking to get out of the first round. Well, they're out of the first round for the first time because of their bye, but they want to win a game. In, look, I uh, believe in, a big one. in the Dumbo. I believe in the Stony. I believe in the B-Bears, but AA, oh, nearly scores there. As I'm talking, I, I support Orange. I can't really be bi biased, but get at him, Stoney. Get at him, mate. I believe. He has a nice little gentle lob going up. Beautiful goalie work there by uh, FX. Clears the ball out. But unfortunately for him, it's not enough to get the pressure out of the zone. That's it. Now the ball flies over. Ozzy Osbord carrying it forward. He gets the cross in nicely, but it's disrupted by Dumbo. Nice little work there. But straight away, the pressure remains. Oh, b -Bears says no. There's no pressure. Don't talk about pressure crisis because it's gone. <laughs> and now the attack coming in on the blue side. Cleared away nicely by FX. Up in the air again. An open goal is cleared away by b -Bears. Yet again, we're following Stonies. Whoa! b -Bears. how do you do that? He came from miles away. Picks it up. We have Bears, we've got Stones, we've got Dumbos. You know, I think that is just a too strong... Con and sit big Stones in front of the goals. Got some Elephants flying through. Nah, they can't hack it. Just great play. Just counter-attacking. As I said earlier in the first game, really aggressive. AA, really aggressive. And it's showed through there again. Just walked into the goal. It's nothing bad, it's uh, aggression is good. You need to have matched aggression. And these guys are learning. They have just a learning curve. Everyone's growing in OC. Oh, I've another been... goal from B-Bears. We should just stick with the camera on him because he comes through. He didn't have to defend the goal this time. Put it up into the air, popped himself up and tapped it with the front fender. Puts away another goal. It's 2-0 in favor of Supersonic Impulse with three minutes 28 to play. I think what you were saying, Horizon, is uh, aggression's good, but you've got to have your rotations and not leave your goal open as a result of aggressive play. Yeah, you've got to you've got to really be careful. You can really counterattack and punish really easy. Look at Dumbo sitting right back, waiting for the ball. I would say you got to figure out your roles within the team, and you got to stick to them. You got to you got to work really well. Got to communicate really well. It's so fast paced. And these guys, these guys make it look easy. Like, I can't play like these guys can. They, they, this is a high skill bracket we're at now. OCE is absolutely killing it. And the timing, the awareness, just the sheer amount of time these guys put in to give us our entertainment. Whether you're from Tassie and you can't Netflix and chill, or you're from Melbourne and you can Netflix and chill, Grey's Anatomy, whatever floats your boat. These guys are killing it, and it's all for you. You guys in the chat there. Oh, important save there by Caramel Bob, preventing the 3-0 FX. 
Next on the line with the defensive duties, the ball gets crossed over and it sits up up into the air where the attackers, they're not able to take the opportunity, but they don't really need to at this stage. They are 2-0 in the lead. Oh, a missed defence there and Caramel Bob puts one in for the boys from Almost Amazing and they claw one back and they're now within one goal of evening the scores. That has got to feel good if you're an Almost Amazing Horizon. Yep, killing it. Getting back that counter-aggressive goal, like I said. Too aggressive. Cops a cheap goal. Now, this is cheap goals now. This isn't cheap. This is cheap. Oh, what we're about. oh another a very one. quick one. Comes through again. Slots it. Beautiful play there. The ball sitting up. And just, uh, you sense some caution coming into the play of supersonic impulse three defenders but not really able to clear the ball and that was the opportunity that the boys in blue needed to get themselves evened out and game is on effects just got a nice little double tap there duked out stony bit of a dribble bit of a, a 1v1 scenario there lovely nice bit of work no cross coming in b bears gets up into the air there's a nice just in the end that's one by the boys in blue but the ball flying across the field now, just all over the show. Not a huge amount of control. It's really get it into the opponent's half and create some opportunities there for the shots to come through. That said, B Bears making sure that the ball stays in the blue zone now. It's been there for a sustained period now. Uh, Sony comes through with a great aggressive play there. And B Bears with a follow up gets the score of a fired. A that cross was absolutely firing across. Yeah, didn't quite get the clear there from Ozzy, but uh, yeah, Bears come back through. He's all over it. He's been there when Supersonic needs them. Loving his work. Haven't seen these guys before. They're absolutely killing it, to be honest. 3-2 in favor of Supersonic Impulse. They are in, uh, well, they're tied up in the series and in the lead in this game, looking to book themselves a berth against Sequential Gaming, I think in the next round. Might be a little bit of a wait for that one because we'll be covering Jam Gaming. So maybe the, oh, B Bears puts it in, says let's make it 4-2, you got 45 seconds, almost amazing. To come back from that, very, very hard, beautiful play up in the air from B Bears. He has been a monster in the air all game long, Horizon. Yeah, been absolutely killing it. He has a shot, uh -oh. it's too high, it goes up onto the crossbars. But B Bears was there anyway. He would have picked it up if it was even a slightly lower. Now the ball's sitting up nicely. Sony gets the clear. But the pressure remains in the orange zone. Now Dumbo gets the clear. It's contested though again. So once again, B Bears been forced to keep defending. You can just see the boys from Almost Amazing desperate to get a goal in. As we approach the 10 second countdown, it's going to take a miracle for them to score two goals from this point. Three seconds, two seconds, they're up in the air. The best they can hope for is a consolation and it'll touch down in just a moment. Players want to keep it alive though. This is incredible. They're keeping it alive forever. <laughs> There's the touch. Oh, onto the ground. And that is 2-1 to the boys from Supersonic Impulse and they move through to the next round. <laughs> uh, crisis? Yeah. I did a bad thing. There's, um... What did you do, mate? <laughs> you might want to, uh, change the Discord details now. Oh, did you share it with, like, the world? Accidentally, yeah. Oh, okay, no. give me a second. Or drag us to uh, games to stuff. Oh, yeah, they come. Okay, it should be a new one now. Oh. <laughs> I was trying to post the, the Cyber Game of Tawny Link. And I tried to copy and paste it. I must have done it properly. I smacked it down. Up comes the Discord. I don't have admin rights. I can't delete it. It's alright, man. No one else is joining this. 
Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, I've cleared him out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we will be back after that little bit of shenanigans. We are hoping to bring you Jam Gaming versus somebody. So stick with us as we head on over to uh, a little bit of a break. We'll be right back.